Welcome back to the AB Scout Project. I'm Gregor. This is Alpha Bravo. And for this Halloween episode, we're going to look at the Black Cats. Not this one. One second, and we'll get to the one we're talking about. That's right. Today we're going to talk about the Hasbro PulseCon Ravage. Let's go ahead and get Alpha Bravo out of a cowering position. And take a look at this guy. All right, he's all neat in his packaging. We got the G1 Ravage over here. We got our new Ravage that's based on the Tigertron mold, so it's a little bit taller than the Cheetor. Uh, mine, I don't know if you see that, but my little data slot got kind of crunched in the shipping, or in the packing, I should say. But, you know, we can probably fix that once we get out. So, let's go ahead and get him unboxed. There. All right, we do have our diorama set piece here. Like I said, here you can see my slot got smooshed. Yeah. I can kind of get it back to shape. It's kind of a thin, thin cardboard. Stage may need a little help too, but overall, you've got the cockpit of a ship. Looks really nifty. All right, bring in the rest of these. Bring in my smaller nippers here. All right, we got the uh, G1 Ravage here. Well, yeah, they actually didn't strapped down as missiles. They're just in the package. So we can transfer him. And put on his missiles. So you have G1 Ravage. Pretty cool. And of course, you know, this is meant to transform and go into the data slot over there. Once I get everything, it's supposed to fit in there, which even with the smushing, I mean, that's about as good as it fits. All right, for Beast Wars Ravage itself. here yep let's get something yeah there you go yeah that's a lot more convincing let's put his tail up just a little bit and get some feet adjustment yeah, there we go. We'll go ahead and get these guns out. One. And there's two. All right. Now we got a ton of these lying around now. But sweep those to the side. Take a look at these guns. I mean, these are they're very similar to what he had in the show. So I appreciate that. And they also, you know, can tab into the side of his beast mode. So he can kind of look like the G1 Ravage. As to the figure itself, that head sculpt, I really like it. That came out really well. Let's see if we can get a little bit better lighting on it. Yeah, that looks really good like that profile pretty really strong the overall look just looks great you get him standing on his own overall just really good really strong i like it i'm gonna go ahead and give him his guns Give him a good, yeah, 
the head yeah, comes off, doesn't actually go up, so you can't really give a good shouting out, you know, his uh, Decepticons forever, but overall, he looks pretty awesome, actually. This is probably the best looking Beast Wars Ravage we got, which we'll actually check on. So one sec, and we'll do some swapping. So here we have all the Beast Wars Ravage molds, you know, heavy reuse of Cheetor molds, except for the uh, BotCon reuse of the breakdown mold to, you know, just give them a new head. You know, this is, but that guy is just like, that face, if I get it to focus. Yeah, that is a psycho kitty. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Anyway, so, He had the original Cheetor, which was actually released as Shadow Panther to begin with, which we'll get to Shadow Panther next. But this was originally released as Shadow Panther, it was repurposed as Beast Wars Ravage in the beginning. Uh, the Transmetal 2 Cheetor was used for the comics Beast Wars Ravage, and the Transmetal 1 Cheetor was used for the Trapeticus Agent, which was... Ravage. It was a heavy retool so that the head was actually up here that, you know, looked up to be your head and beast mode. But anyway, you look at these, you know, first off, we're just going to look for show accuracy because all of these were used in a comic at one point or another. So for the Beast Wars show accuracy, first off, we'll get rid of the bot con for not having a beast mode. Now, primarily the Original Shadow Panther and the Transmetal 2 Cheetor Ravage were really only in the comics. So since they weren't, aren't really show accurate, we'll go ahead and get rid of them. Now we're down to the Trapeticus Agent Ravage and our PulseCon exclusive Ravage. Between the two, uh, the PulseCon wins. I mean, I, I still can't get over the uh, arms that are backpacked up there. So we'll go ahead and remove the Trapeticus agent. So the winner is the PulseCon exclusive. As I said before, he looks really great. And also, as I said before, this is based on the Tigertron mold. So he's actually bigger than the Kingdom Cheetor or the Netflix Cheetor I have here. So I can't wait to get the new Tigertron in. But anyway, PulseCon Ravage, get it while it lasts. It looks great. Next up is Nemesis Cheetor. I mean, Shadow Panther. But anyway, uh, this guy was a Predacon so devious that he copied Cheetor's body to be able to ensnare Maximals. It was also a good way for Hasbro to recolor Cheetor molds. But anyway, we've got the original Beast Wars Cheetor standing in for the original Shadow Panther. And we've got the MP Cheetor standing in for the Masterpiece Shadow Panther. All right, between these, I mean, in our previous Beast Wars episodes, we've already established that the MPs are too tall, so he'll be the first to be eliminated. Between the original and the kingdom, I'm going to give it to the kingdom. The kingdom just slightly edges out posability on the original, and the uh, you know face on the chest is just a lot less obtrusive. So... The winner is the kingdom. Now just one final look here at the uh, Agent Ravage beast mode. Like I said, the gun's tab into the side to make him look kind of G1-ish. And you can compare him to size to the Shadow Panther there to have a comparison to the Cheetor mold. And they stand almost the same height, but this one's just a little bit bigger. I mean, you kind of see it more in the front. Yeah. But anyway, thanks for joining us today on the AB Scale Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see y'all later.